Pluto made them come all over Pluto's circle. Crosses that of another planet, Pluto, the frustrating little planet at the external degrees of our close-by planetary bundle, is working up force in the realm of room science. Advancing reports show a potential experience with Neptune, raising worries among subject matter experts and space fans. Obvious figures like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have sounded alerts about the repercussions of this cosmic event. Yet, how did Pluto end up on a serious illustration with its lining planet? Moreover, what could this great battle mean for life on Earth? Join us as we disentangle how something monstrous just slammed into Neptune and how researchers have been left restless by this colossal irregularity. Pluto, once hailed as an undeniable planet, went through an adjustment of its status, being renamed as a dwarf planet as a result of its uncommon orbit. Regardless of this minimization, Pluto still charms and interests the inestimable community. Later, Suppositions from respected investigators like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have raised concerns about Pluto's orbit potentially meeting with Neptune, exhibiting an impending series of experiences between the two superb bodies, which could have critical repercussions for Earth. Pluto's journey around the Sun stands out because of its unprecedented characteristics. Inside our planetary system, its orbit is oddly prolonged, crossing an astonishing distance. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has yet to finish a full circle around the Sun, adding to its persona. The particularly broadened state of its orbit is a takeoff from the more round orbits followed by the major planets. Other than Pluto, its orbit floats off by 17 degrees from the ecliptic plane, giving its way a more outrageous slant compared to various planets. The mix of Pluto's tendency and its twisted orbit presents layers of unpredictability to its orbital pattern. One exceptional aspect is its discontinuous intermixing with Neptune's orbit for around 20 years during each cycle. Pluto ventures closer to the Sun than Neptune, going against suppositions in light of their various positions in the nearby planetary system. Diving further into Pluto's orbit, it's captivating to note that it's not an ideal circle but rather an extended path, looking more like an oval shape. This uncommon orbit results in huge variations in Pluto's distance from the Sun throughout its journey. At its closest approach, Pluto is in close vicinity to around 30 astronomical units, AU of the Sun, while at its farthest point, it reaches an excess of 49 Australian dollars, two times the distance of Neptune from the Sun. Moreover, Pluto's orbit is shifted at a critical angle compared to the orbits of the major planets in our planetary system. This tendency not only adds to the complexity of its orbit but also plays a crucial role in its interactions with other celestial bodies, especially Neptune. When Pluto experiences Neptune, their gravitational impact changes their directions over time. The complicated dance between Pluto and Neptune highlights the unique nature of our nearby planetary system. While Pluto was once viewed as a lone wanderer in the external reaches, its close encounters with Neptune stress the interconnectedness of celestial bodies, each applying gravitational forces that shape the orbits of others. In recent years, advancements in observational technology have permitted stargazers to track Pluto's movements with extraordinary accuracy. This has led to a deeper understanding of its orbit and its potential implications for the stability of the outer solar system. While the likelihood of a direct collision between Pluto and Neptune remains low, the chance can't be entirely dismissed, prompting observatories and studies by the astronomical community. No matter its inconspicuous size and distant location, Pluto continues to command attention and interest among researchers and enthusiasts alike. The question arises, why hasn't there been an impact between Pluto and Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational forces from other planets. Cosmologists began studying Pluto's path shortly after its discovery and its orbit confused them. Unlike most planets that stick near the same plane as they orbit the Sun, called the ecliptic plane, Pluto stands out with its steep tilt and oval-shaped orbit. The mystery deepened when they realized Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's. Despite these complexities, Pluto's orbit remains stable, demonstrating the intricate mechanics of space. Grasping how three celestial bodies, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, Move and interact gravitationally is a major challenge. It's much like trying to predict where they'll go based on where they start and how they pull on each other. For Pluto, this challenge reveals how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, 
and the sun's position all work together like a complicated exchange. Terms like precession, libration, and the VSOP variations help scientists address this cosmic question. Understanding these factors is crucial for keeping planets in their orbits. When Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it's still about 90 degrees away, keeping them from colliding. Libration ensures that when Pluto approaches Neptune or other large planets, it stays well above their orbit, reducing the likelihood of an impact. The VSOP variations, named after scientists von Zeipel, Pesciaretti, and others, explain why Pluto's orbit seems eccentric yet remains predictable over time. Despite the tumult in space, some patterns and rules keep things in order. These rules stabilize Pluto's orbit, preventing collisions with Neptune or changes in its path. The opportunity of orbital chaos demonstrates how a celestial body's orbit is extremely sensitive to where it starts. Even slight changes in its position or speed can disturb its orbit over time. Researchers use computational simulations to figure out how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematics to model how Pluto interacts with other celestial objects like Neptune. By tweaking these simulations just a little, astronomers can observe how tiny changes can adjust Pluto's orbit. In the late 1900s, these simulations found something fascinating about Pluto's orbit. Despite the elements that should make it unstable, Pluto's orbit can still be erratic. Just a slight difference in where Pluto starts or how fast it's moving can make massive changes over many years. However, even with this confusion, Pluto's orbit remains stable for long periods like billions of years. This suggests that, despite Pluto seeming chaotic, its journey around the Sun follows a kind of pattern. Predicting what will happen with planets like Pluto, which have eccentric orbits, is challenging. These systems are erratic to such an extent that it becomes difficult to predict long-term outcomes. Simulations help us learn about potential outcomes, but they also show us that we can't predict everything. Understanding Pluto's orbit is essential, particularly when considering whether it could collide with Neptune in the future. This knowledge helps us gain insights into how our solar system works. Pluto's orbit teaches us that even orbits that appear unstable can stabilize due to gravity. Furthermore, the dynamics of space continue to surprise us, and studying these phenomena is key to expanding our understanding of the universe and our place within it. When we explore space, we discover that things can be strange, and Pluto's orbit is a great example of that anomaly. Pluto's orbit is unlike those of other planets. It's more oval-shaped, which means it's not a perfect circle. Sometimes it even moves closer to the Sun than Neptune does. This creates interesting dynamics because, while Neptune is also moving along its path, there's a slight chance that Pluto and Neptune could collide in the end. Despite its unusual orbit, Pluto manages to avoid Neptune most of the time, thanks to what many refer to as gravitational forces. Gravity is like an invisible force that pulls things toward one another. So even though Pluto and Neptune might seem on a collision course, their orbits are carefully arranged directed by the pull of gravity. Pluto's orbit teaches us that space is full of surprises. What seems chaotic at first glance can be a delicate balance of forces. By studying Pluto's orbit, scientists gain insights into the complex mechanics of our solar system. This ongoing observation and research are vital to expanding our knowledge of the universe and our place within it. Imagine if Pluto and Neptune did collide. It would be a cosmic event sending shockwaves through our understanding of the nearby planetary system. While we've made progress in understanding space, what's happening suggests that we still have a long way to go. Focusing on how large planets affect Pluto's orbit gives us crucial clues about how our entire solar system functions. It shows us that where each planet is and how it moves can influence the paths of other objects in space. Despite the complexities of space, the possibility that Pluto might one day collide with Neptune concerns astronomers. This raises the question of why such a collision could happen, even though it seems unlikely. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist, has some interesting thoughts about Pluto. He believes that renaming Pluto as a dwarf planet, rather than a major planet like Earth, is a forward-moving step. He feels that we are continually learning new things about how objects move in space. Tyson sees Pluto's odd orbit as a sign that there's still much we don't understand. He believes that the mysteries of space are fascinating, 
and significant events like Pluto's renaming engage people in space science. Tyson wants to help people understand the cold and sometimes strange aspects of how space works. He emphasizes that studying space mechanics can astound us. Tyson collaborates with other experts to warn people about the potential dangers of Pluto's strange orbit. After focusing on Pluto extensively, the possibility that it could crash into Neptune one day concerns him. He suggests that such a crash could cause enormous problems for our entire solar system. An impact between Pluto and Neptune would be a captivating and serious event. It would release a huge amount of energy and could destroy Pluto with fragments zooming around space and possibly hitting other planets and moons. Neptune could also feel the impact altering its orbit. Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, known for his contributions to string theory and science communication, offers an intriguing perspective on space exploration. He firmly believes that understanding the fate of space travel and the connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics can be gathered from studying objects like Pluto. Kaku sees Pluto's orbit as a window into the future of space exploration. By understanding the complicated gravitational relationships and orbital dynamics of celestial bodies like Pluto, we can improve future space missions, help with safer navigation through the solar system, predict potential risks, and plan missions to far-off corners of our vast universe. Kaku emphasizes that lessons learned from Pluto's orbit can be applied to studying other celestial bodies, providing a roadmap for deciphering distant worlds. He often highlights the significant connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics, noting that the movements and interactions of planets, such as the gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune, are rooted in fundamental principles of physics. Kaku's work in theoretical physics, particularly string theory, aims to unravel these principles at their core. He suggests that focusing on the intricacies of celestial mechanics, like Pluto's orbit, can yield insights into the fundamental laws of the universe. Like Tyson, Kaku has also pondered the potential consequences of celestial bodies colliding, relating it to his theories about the universe. A collision between Pluto and Neptune, while critical in astronomy, could offer a remarkable observational opportunity potentially adding to our understanding of string theory. String theory, which replaces point-like particles with one-dimensional strings, seeks to describe the fundamental forces and matter in the universe. Such a collision could create extreme conditions of energy and gravity, shedding light on the behavior of elementary particles and forces under such intense conditions. Furthermore, the gravitational waves produced by such an impact could provide valuable data for testing predictions of string theory regarding spacetime. While the immediate impact on Earth would be minimal due to our distance from the outer solar system, the scientific implications could be profound. Understanding events like this could deepen our interest in the fundamental nature of the universe as described by string theory and other areas of theoretical physics. Pluto's orbit, impacted by the gravitational forces of nearby planets, especially Neptune, highlights the complex and dynamic nature of space. However, the universe holds many mysteries, and the three-body problem is just one of them. Scientists expect other potential disasters, emphasizing the ongoing pursuit of understanding and exploration in the vast universe. Though it's highly unlikely, there's still a slight chance of planets crashing in space. This can happen because planetary orbits are influenced by various factors, such as gravitational pulls from other planets, a phenomenon scientists refer to as the three-body problem. In systems like the TRAPPIST-1 system, where there are seven Earth-sized planets, the gravitational forces create a kind of dance in how the planets move, leading to orbital resonances over time. These resonances can make a planet's orbit less stable and could potentially result in collisions. Although systems like TRAPPIST-1 are collaborating with their planets, these influences aren't happening right now. Scientists keep watch on these systems to understand how planets affect each other's orbits, especially when they converge. This helps us learn about planetary evolution in space. Sometimes, there are rogue planets that fail to orbit a star and drift through space randomly. These planets used to be part of a star system but were ejected due to gravitational interactions or when another star passed too close. Over time, these wandering planets can cross vast distances and may crash into other star systems. However, since space is mostly empty, the likelihood of them hitting another planet is very low. 
Rogue planets are fascinating in comparison to the number of stars and planets with stable orbits, making collisions even rarer. When worlds collide, it can disrupt the orbits of the star systems within them. Although planets may not directly impact one another during these large events, gravitational interactions can alter how stars and planets move. Occasionally, planets are flung out into space, becoming rogue worlds. Other times, they might collide with each other or their host stars. These disruptions can indeed create new celestial bodies or form new stars. The late heavy bombardment hypothesis proposes that around 4 billion years ago, there was a period of increased impacts, including comets and asteroids. This bombardment is believed to have happened because outer planets like Jupiter and Saturn were moving around a lot, disrupting the orbits of many smaller objects in space. These smaller objects were then tossed onto erratic paths, many of which ended up in the inner part of our solar system. This led to a significant increase in impacts on planets like Earth. While these impacts didn't involve planets colliding directly, they showed how gravity can make massive changes to how things move in space. This bombardment shaped the surfaces and histories of planets in our solar system and could have even brought water and organic material to Earth, contributing to the formation of our planet.